Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and in this session we are going to talk about how we can get help with spellings in Power BI. So here we are going to talk about one of the newly rolled out Power Query function which is table.add fuzzy cluster column in detail. So now let's get started. First of all, let me show you my data source. Here you can see that user has entered different value for the same type of data. Let's say someone entered New York City like this and someone entered New York City like NYC. Someone entered Power BI like PBI and someone entered correct spelling of Power BI like this or like this. Someone entered Power Apps like this or like this or this. So you can see that the same thing is entered in a different way. Right? Someone entered correct spelling of power virtual agents and someone entered incorrect spelling of agent like this. Right? Someone entered SharePoint like this and someone entered SharePoint as a short point. Right? Someone entered its short form like SP. Right? But all of these three are same. Right? Someone entered torrent power like this and someone entered like this. Now, what I want to do here is I want to correct those spelling and wanted to make them into a same cluster. So now how can I do that? For that we are going to use one Power Query function. Now let me show you how to do that. First of all click on transform data and here I have loaded that incorrect data from my excel spreadsheet. Right? So here is the data source. Now I wanted to use one Power Query function. For that go to the advanced editor. Now here you can see that different steps which are performed by the Power Query already to load the data source. Now what we need to do here is we just need to place comma and we just need to add our own function over here. Now what would be that function? Let me explain you that thing in detail first. So first of all we are going to use this type of function over here where I will use table.add fuzzy cluster column over here where I am passing the data source which is my pre previous query step then I need to provide the column name and new column name and then I just need to pass optional parameter like ignore case and ignore space like this right now let me explain you that thing in detail over here so let me just add a step fuzzy over here so let me just provide a step name as fuzzy logic now what I want to do is is equal to we will type a thing table dot add fuzzy cluster column so this is the uh, formula that we are going to add here right and when we click on i icon it will give you the instruction about that function right now let's just add that and now let's add the braces over here now what it will do is it is providing a syntax over here so first of all we need to pass a table as a data source then we need to provide a column name where we have incorrect data and we just need to provide a, a output column name as a new column like this right and then we can also add some optional parameters as well and here it provides some instruction over here like this function adds a new column with the representative value obtained by fuzzy grouping value of the specified column in the table right now let's provide a data source so basically the previous step is my source so I'm just providing this previous step over here then let's provide the column name so my column name is new where I have some incorrect data so I'm just providing the name over there and then let's provide a new column where we want to store the data so let's just pass the value as new names right and then we need to pass some optional parameter right for that just add this type of uh, square braces we will add uh, we will add a parameter like ignore spaces and uh, ignore cases so let's add those two values over here so ignore case is equal to true and ignore space is equal to true right now uh, let me just uh, now what I wanted to do here is I just wanted to show this end result as a query outcome so let's just change this value over here and let's just hit done now let's check the output what we are getting here so it is created a new column new names over here and you can see that all this power bi group together all these power apps together like this power virtual agent spelling has been corrected new york city uh, then pbi is considered as power bi 
right then uh, you can see that share point and short point become together like share point but still there are some thing that has not been converted like nyc is not converted to new york city tp is not converted to torrent power and sp is not converted to share point right now in order to do that what we need to perform one more step basically for that we need to add one transformation table by which power query recognize that if user enter nyc we need to consider that as a new york city if user enters sp then we need to consider as a share point right now in order to do that i have loaded one uh, transformation table from my excel spreadsheet so basically i prepared one uh, transformation table with different combinations like this so basically uh, one thing we need to remember here we must need to use from and to column here in our transformation table so basically the transformation table structure is like this we must have from column and we must have to column if you are renaming this column you will get error while you are using this table as a transformation table in your power query function so remember this thing it now here you can see that nyc is converted to new york city pbi is considered as power bi tp is converted to torrent power and sp is considered as share point right so this is the transformation table we have added here now what we need to do here is we just need to add the transformation table to our function right so again click on advanced editor and use the similar function over here now in in this uh, optional parameter we need to add uh, uh, one more add parameter that is transformation table and inside that we just need to provide the name of the transformation table so let's just do that so i just added a parameter transformation table and what is the name of my transformation table it is same like this right and when you hover over that you can see the same formula that we have written in the power query like this right so we just provided that transformation table over here and just click on done option now what it will do is you can see that everything is corrected perfectly you can see that the pbi uh, for pbi we just added mapping like power bi so it just place uh, it just place one space uh, for all power bi over here same way pbi is converted to power bi it was already there so it just corrected that nyc is considered as a new york city tp is considered as torrent power sp is converted to share point right so that is how our transformation table will work together with our power query function which is add fuzzy cluster column now you can see that it clustered or it grouped all incorrect value together in the new column value now let's just click on close and apply and let's just add those value inside our table and the table will look like this this is how we can group all the values together in a new column value like this isn't that amazing if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. And if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.